What we love about the farm is the ability to work together. It's a great place to raise your family, to be able to work alongside your children, to work alongside your grandchildren, to be able to teach them, to be able to teach them the value of where their food comes from. My name is Beatrice Passer. My husband and I are egg farmers. The name of our farm is Glenby Farms. We farm with our family and we just feel really blessed to be able to have our kids farming with us and now hopefully our grandchildren. I grew up on a farm with my parents. We had um, layers which were free run at the time and then I got married to an egg farmer as well so we are still egg farming. Having your kids growing up on a farm is, is a great way to get them involved. So I definitely enjoy knowing that I've come from a multi-generational egg farming family. My name is Nathaniel Visser, I'm a fourth generation egg farmer. Being able to give my kids and my family the same experience I had growing up, I think I'm just actually very thankful for it. Growing up on the farm, I, I, I took it for granted. I think most farm kids probably do. You just, you're used to living where you work. And I always enjoyed it. I could run into the barn, go play around in there, and you could run in the garden. You could go run into the shop and play with equipment. But just it was just a fun place to be. It was a it was a learning slash working kind of growing up. Growing up on a farm is actually for a kid. It's a lot of fun. I'm Rick Visser. I was the egg packer for my dad and for my grandpa actually back in the day. I don't know any differently, so that's all I ever knew. Yeah, still still doing it today, and I I never really get sick of it. When we hear people talking about eggs and what it means to have quality eggs. It means a lot to us because um, we know there's a lot of care that has gone into taking care of the hands and to know that the people around us are being fed well. We're in the midst of building a new barn. Once the barn is constructed, it would have the ability to house 60,000 birds. It's been an exciting journey. It's been a challenging journey. We chose an enriched housing system where it gives the chicken more amenities inside the cage. This gives the birds a little bit more space. Um, it gives them places to nest, to roost, and to, to, to scratch. It allows the chicken to have a lot of its natural spaces and uh, activities in the cage without having the risks of disease, without having the risks of wild animals and bugs and weather. And it just it's a system that I personally endorse the most. If I ran into somebody at the grocery store that knew nothing about eggs or nothing about farming, I think I would just ask the people to trust their farmers and to know that anything locally produced, as far as it comes to eggs, if it comes to pork, if it comes to beef, if it comes to milk, butter, any local production, I just trust your farmers. I mean, we work really hard to make it as safe as possible. We take care of our chickens. We care about our chickens. It's one of the things that becomes ingrained into us at a very young age. And we just learn how to take care of chickens. We learn how to take care of animals. And we feed them, we water them, we care for them, and we're good at it. As an egg farmer, knowing that I provide eggs for friends, neighbors, anybody in Canada or Alberta, that's probably one of the coolest parts of my job. I remember sitting in McDonald's one time and watching people get bacon and eggers. There's a chance that some of those eggs could have been the eggs I produced. And I just, I enjoy seeing people trust that the food is safe to take. One thing that we would like for all consumers to know is that all the eggs are nutritious, delicious, they're healthy, and they are of the safest quality standards that you can feel comfortable feeding your family. It's a lot of fun to see our kids are interested and it's you know and time flies by so fast it won't be long and the grandkids will be pitching in already they're already actually starting to want to help out it's um, nice to be able to pass on to your your children and your grandchildren the value of doing things well doing things right making sure that what you are giving the public is what you say it is and to feel good about the product that you've provided for those around you. Mm -hmm.